Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, my name is Cody GT, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a timeline for version 4.3 on the Chinese server. Now I wanted to take a look at this because I thought it would be fun to look at what's coming, how long it's going to be here for, and what we can look forward to because I have to tell you guys something, this is a lot of good stuff. That is coming to the Chinese server for version 4.3 and I mean a lot of good stuff. They are dropping events, expansion supply, focus supply cards, expansion supply cards, crystals. There's just a lot of things coming in version 4.3 for the Chinese server's anniversary. And hopefully we are getting this stuff for the global side as well. Now albeit there will be some things that won't be there because it may be exclusive to the Chinese server. But I hope that we get at least most of it, which I believe we will. Now, really quickly, before we jump into it, a huge shout out to Marble for providing this information right here. And then another huge shout out to Soul or Ryan in the Discord for going in depth with me a little bit and giving me some more information pertaining to the events and summarizing what's going to be happening here so huge shout outs to both of you thank you so much and if you do want to join the discord a link will be in the description below join the discord today so you can stay up to date with leaks and news and discuss honkai with like-minded people as well as if you enjoy this video today you got something from it go ahead and consider liking and subscribing to the channel it helps out tremendously thank you so much so with that being said let's jump straight into it now there is going to be a developers live stream tomorrow um, that will probably, you know, go into more information about this and give us more concrete definitive answers on this. But once again, I thought this would be good to provide you so you can get a better idea of what could be coming as far as timeline wise and what we have to look forward to, which I, like I mentioned, I'm excited about guys. I'm really excited about. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at it. Um, so of course you all already probably know that we're getting the brand new Durandal outfit. Now most of these things or these events and supplies are dropping on the 21st of September. And remember this is for the Chinese server, the CN server. So keep that in mind for my global players. Uh, this is for the CN server. Most of this is dropping on September 21st and is running until October. Now there are some things that will be dropping on the 27th of September um, as well as other dates you know in October and stuff like that. So the Durandal outfit will be here from September 21st all the way to October 30th. This is the spending event. If you spend 30k crystals uh, you will get the outfit so keep that in mind as far as that's concerned. Moving over to the next thing that we have, they're pretty much bringing back all the, of the elves, the S rank elves. So we have Bella, we have the brand new Tesla elf, as well as um, the Book of Fushi and the Saloon's Elegy elf. Now, Bella will be here from the 21st to the 27th of September, and then Tesla will be right on the 27th to October 16th. And then the Book of Fushi right afterwards, and then Saloon's Elegy right afterwards as well. So if you're looking forward to any of those, that'll be your opportunity to go ahead and obtain them. Um, I'm really looking forward to the uh, Tesla Elf, the brand new one. The Bella Elf is one that I would really want also, and the Saloon's Elegy is one that I've been wanting. So uh, this, is, this is pretty crazy because... There's a lot of good things that you can obtain in version 4.3 from a not only Valkyrie and gear standpoint as far as weapons and stigmatas but also from an elf standpoint. They're just bringing everything back so it's hard to have enough crystals for everything that you might need unless you have most everything then this is not a problem for you but for I would say the majority of people this is going to be an issue because there's probably a lot of things that we're missing like for example in my case the elves I'm missing most of them I only have the book of Fushi here so getting you know either one of these would be fantastic but I think my main focus is going to be the Tesla elf um, to really try and obtain so I guess you just have to prioritize what you want and this is a good time for a spending event for the outfit as well because I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of crystals spent here in version 4.3. Now moving on from there we do have the expansion supply coming on September 21st through October 16th that is going to be featuring a Thunder May. This is extremely exciting as well as Sage Fuhua and Bright Knight Durandal. So this is really really awesome expansion supply. I know for most individuals because all three of these Valkyries are absolutely OP. They are God tier Valkyries in my opinion all offering great great stuff for your account now if we jump over here 
Uh, just to go ahead and give you a better idea of when these Valkyries are coming as far as dates and times. Now once again, this could update and be different, but I think this is pretty definitive. I don't think this is going to change. So on the 21st of September through the 27th, it looks like we're going to have Thunder May uh, be the first one that's going to be available. So if you were not able to obtain her when she first came around, this is another opportunity to go for her. Other notable ones that I wanted to quickly mention, Ice Rita and Gaikiana will be back as well. So that's really, really awesome. We also have, uh, so on the 27th of September, we then have Sage Fuhua, uh, but then we're also going to have Rosa, and then we're going to have Stingy and Nymph, so it's, <laughs> it's just a lot of stuff coming, guys, a lot of stuff, so you're definitely going to have to prioritize and figure out what you need and what you want, uh, and then on October 1st, we're going to have Bright Night Durandal, but then they're bringing back Fall and Rosemary as well, and then Cyber Angel Bronya, I mean, this is a top tier and I mean absolutely top tier lineup right here of Valkyries that they're bringing back and Valkyries that you're going to be able to go ahead and pull for on different expansion supplies on different dates and times. So yeah, this is <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. So if you're missing one, uh, you had one in mind that you wanted to obtain, that should be coming back. Once again, keep in mind this is for the CN server, so for global... This could be, and most likely, going to be different on who they bring back, on who they're going to go ahead and provide. Hopefully, it's the same because this is fantastic, but keep in mind, it could be different. I just wanted to, just one more time, reiterate that. Um, now, moving on from there, we have the focus supply uh, for the gear and the equipment. Um, of course, featuring the applicable ones for the Valkyries that they're featuring, Thunder May, Sage Fuhua, and Bright Knight Durandal. So, we're going to have uh, the Bella then the one for Sage Fuhua, and then the Dante set for Bright Knight Durandal. I believe I have... Yeah, so here we go. As far as the dates, it should be right in line with when those Valkyries drop as well. So the 21st of September is going to be Thunder Bay and her applicable equipment. Then the 27th will be uh, Sage Fuhua and her applicable equipment, the Margraves. That's what it was called. I didn't know what it was called, I admit. <laughs> and then for October 1st, that will be when Bright Knight Durandal drops, and then the Dante and her Serenity uh, Lance that will drop as well. So that should be in line uh, right there and they should you know, kind of parallel each other. Uh, and then on the 27th of September through October 16th, we do have the Charles Dickens Stigmata set, the brand new one um, that they are featuring to be applicable with the augmentation of Rosa FTD. And then on like, October 19th, they're gonna have the Shui Ching set uh, Sigmata set as well as the Lee Sigmata set for your SP Teresa as well as for your Valkyrie Gloria so they're going to have that available um, and then on September 27th through October 16th the same time period they're going to have uh, Sage Fuhua's wedding outfit um, available around that time period and then October 23rd through the 30th they're going to have um, Ice Rita's uh, wedding outfit right there as well. So really really nice stuff going on as far as that's concerned And then I believe they're also gonna have um, May's wedding outfit also available from the 21st of September through October 16th uh, So that's what we have going on there now moving on We're gonna go ahead and take a look at some more events that are gonna be dropping for version 4.3 um, all really exciting and this is how I like the updates and the maintenances to be this is how anniversary should be I mentioned this before just really good stuff you know just drop it all go all out with these maintenance updates and with the you know anniversaries this is how you have to do it so September 27th through October 10th will be when you can obtain uh, Stay Lace outfit now from what I've been informed this may be only something that's available for the CN server for their anniversary this may not be something that's obtainable for global so keep that in mind this may not be available for the global server when it drops because of the CN anniversary is something exclusive to them. So this outfit may be only exclusive for them and then when we obtain our anniversaries when it will be available for us on the global side. Now if that's the case, that is a big rip in the chat and very unfortunate, but it is what it is. You know, I, I, I can't say much more about that. So that would be unfortunate, but you know, it's their anniversary. You have to keep that in mind. Uh, and then moving on from there, we do have from uh, September 21st through November 19th. 
We have a focus supply card login reward that you're going to be able to obtain. Um, that will be absolutely fantastic. And then on September 26th through November 19th, we have the Happy Birthday Rosa login um, where you have the choice to choose from Rosa's actual character card. So this is where I messed up on my video um, when I was talking about ancient willpowers and how you should use them. I didn't realize and I totally forgot, I do apologize, that um, Rosa's, you're going to be able to obtain a character card if you want to choose this one for Rosa so you'll actually be able to obtain her in version 4.3. Uh, for free just as a login reward so i do apologize about that which is really nice or you could choose 600 ancient willpower or you can choose 160 of the augmented resource for rosa to be able to augment her so that's going to be a choice that you can go ahead and utilize which is really really nice right there and then from the same dates we also have a gift box where uh, you'll get to be able to choose whether you want to have focus supply cards expansion supply cards ancient willpowers the Einstein tourist or the Honkai core cube I should say um, so you can choose either one of those um, I will probably depending on how much you get of each will determine whether I go for the expansion supply cards or possibly the Einstein tourist we would have to see but um, that's really nice once again um, and then we have a 12 I believe this is a 1200 day reward that you receive for um, you know being on the Hyperion ship for 1200 days uh, you're gonna get focus supply cards I believe that's 15 and an emblem that's really nice for those who can achieve that and then on and that's gonna be September 26 and then on September 21st through October 22nd um, this looks like it's going to be a uh, captain's yearbook national yearbook something of that nature I don't have too much information on that um, so we'll probably get more information when it comes to the developers live stream or in the comments down below you can let me know this might be something more geared towards like your history uh, being on the Hyperion the things you accomplished I'm not too sure so in the comments down below you can let me know if you know inf more information about that or we'll know that on developers live stream and then September 27th through October 7th will be one of the first events um, where it's a thank you for a wonderful year event where you're going to be able to obtain 300 crystals. And then the second event, October 8th through the 19th of October, is it looks like it's going to be a uh, cabbage, that cabbage event that we had once before. I can't remember exactly when. It looks like that's going to be rolling around and we're going to be able to um, take advantage of that once more. I don't think it was anything difficult. I believe it's where you grew the cabbage and then you're able to collect them and then get rewards from that. Um, so it was a very like passive idle event that you didn't really have to worry about But it was nice because you didn't have to like really invest too much time into it. It, it was it was pretty cool um, Especially for the rewards that you can get from that. So um, Yeah, guys, that is just about everything that's going to be coming in version 4.3 as far as the scheduling for it And the events that they're dropping and what we're going to be able to obtain um, Also with the expansion and focus supplies and you know all the other supplies that are coming with the outfits and things of that nature so I would like to know in the comments down below what you're most excited for. Let me know in the comments down below what you're looking forward to as well. And in the comments down below, let me know what you're going to be going for uh, just in general. So I'm excited to hear about all that. Once again, this is for the CN server, so this could be different for the global when it drops. And be on the lookout for that developer's live stream tomorrow, as that will probably give us more concrete, definitive answers on what's going to be happening for version 4.3, as well as maybe possible future things that could be happening as well. Um, but that is the video today guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was slightly informative I hope you got something from it and I will see you in the next one Remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do and until next time my boys until next time It's your homie Cody GT and I'm out. Bye guys